Thanks for the introduction. Uh, in this talk, I would like to share with you our idea of direct Android emulation on personal computers, and in particular, why we this idea for mobile gaming and how we realize it in large-scale practice. This is the joint work of Tsinghua University, Tencent Company, and so forth, and three of our authors are here, me, Zhenghua Li, and Xin Lei Yang. Uh, this is the outline of our presentation, and first, let's look at the background. Android emulators are crucial to the development and debugging of Android apps because they can emulate mobile devices of any size, any system version, and various sensors. Therefore, they bring much more convenience and functions to Android researchers and developers. In fact, even for non-professional users, Android emulators cross-platform Android app execution, especially for mobile games. Nowadays, in this market, attracting over 1 billion users how can we run Android apps on a Windows PC? The state-of-the-art solution is so-called AOVB architecture. Its idea is quite intuitive. First, we run VirtualBox on an x86 Windows PC. Then we run Android x86 operating system on VirtualBox. Finally, we can run Android apps on top of a Windows PC. AOVB is widely used in the industry due to its open source nature and high compatibility. However, we found that virtualization severely impacts the overall performance because the Linux kernel always traps into VirtualBox when running privileged instructions. For example, nearly 10 times performance degradation occurs in, the con in a case of context switching between two threads of the same app. How well does AOAB actually perform when running a 3D configuration of the Android game? From the video clip, we can see the poor FPS and smoothness of AOVB on a conventional PC. Worse still, poor smoothness impacts not only the user's experience, but also the outcome of the game. In fact, several optimizations can be made to improve the performance of AOVB, including GPU acceleration, virtual I.O. Virtual I.O. interfaces increase the perform uh, the throughput of the rendering data pipeline between the Android app uh, and the media host, and VT, the hardware virtualization acceleration by Intel. Even so, when we natively run an Android app on a smartphone, we can see there is still a performance gap between AOVB and the native. To address the performance issue of AOVB, we pose a challenging question here. Is it possible to directly execute Android app binaries on top of x86 Windows. If possible, we can provide foreign Android binaries with direct access to the local PC hardware so that we can achieve nearly native hardware performance. Nevertheless, our target is confronted with three challenges when we want to play uh, an ARM-based Android app on x86 Windows PC. First, their data structures and execution behavior of the binaries are different. Second, Linux and Windows have different syscalls. And third, there exists an interaction gap between uh, PC and uh, mobile gaming. Let's look at the first challenge. How to transform Android ARM binaries to Windows x86 Windows binaries with little modification? Although Android x86 has already ported Android OS to x86, and Intel Houdini can dynamically translate Android apps binaries to x86 binaries. We still have to rewrite Linux x86 binary into Windows binary. We know that x86 instruction set contains more than 800 instructions, which seems to be so many. Fortunately, based on large-scale static analysis of 500,000 Android games, we found that only around 240 cases need rewriting. However, the number is still too large. As a result, we further reduced the 240 cases into just 10 rewrite patterns, given that multiple instructions can be rewritten in a similar manner by rewriting binaries and loading through trampoline and helper function. In detail, <coughs> let's explain two common patterns. Pattern A indicates that the Linux 6 core interrupt is not compatible with Windows. To handle this, when the instructions of pattern A are loaded into memory, 
they are first rewritten into a trampoline A. The trampoline only cost five bytes so that the overall binary structure remains unchanged. Then, during execution, the trampoline A calls a helper function, which is responsible for adjusting data organization into Windows standard and makes the Linux call. Next, pattern B indicates the CPU register GS is accessible in Linux, but not accessible in 64-bit Windows. To deal with this, we emulate GS in the memory and modify the instruction of pattern B. To address the second challenge, we need to efficiently emulate Linux discos on Windows. Based on dynamic analysis of numerous Android games, we found that only 200 out of 370 Linux discos needs to be uh, re-implemented. However, the number is still too large. As a result, we further reduced the Linux discos emulation into just dozens of common devices discos and data structures. This helped us to reduce the emulation overhead and also improve the emulation performance. The third challenge is about interaction gap between mobile and PC gaming. We tap virtual on-screen buttons to play mobile games, but use physical keyboard and mouse to play PC games. To achieve the mapping, the straightforward solution is to use DNA models for real-time button recognition. However, this is not only computational intensive, but also inaccurate. Fortunately, we find a better solution by analyzing an app's OpenGL instructions, which is lightweight and accurate. We integrate all the above efforts into a real-world Android emulator called DAOW, that is, Direct Android Emulation on Windows. It has four components. First, the DAOW emulator initializes the Android framework and rewrites its binary while loading them into memory. Then, the emulator forks a Windows process for running an Android app instance. Meanwhile, the kernel driver handles Linux syscalls via a series uh, DLUW syscalls and Windows syscalls. In addition, the media host deals with user input, sound, and graphics issues, as well as measures the smoothness of the game. Finally, we use shared memory for, for fast media data transfer between an app instance and the media host. Since its launch at to the end of 2017, now DOW has more than 10 million active users per month. Compared with AOAB, DOW increases the overall smoothness of Android games on average PCs from 0.76 to 0.92. That is from unsatisfactory to pretty smooth. It also saves us uh, the startup time and the memory usage. Again, just watch a video clip of the same game running with DLW. We can see that the FPS and the smoothness are much higher than those of the game. Also, from the user's per perspective, Smoothness is close to perfect. In summary, emulating heavy mobile games on Windows PCs has long been desired, but highly challenging. We propose the novel idea of DOAW instead of the state-of-art AOAB. This is enabled by considerate design trade-offs among efficiency, overhead, and compatibility as well as solid implementation and large-scale development. Our work proves the feasibility of cross-OS program execution even for a large number of heavy mobile apps. So thanks. <laughs>